Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Sorry. Hi, Karen. Good evening. Hi. How are you? Fine. And you? How's everything? It's nice to see you again. Same here. Same here, my girl. Such a pleasure to see you again. All of you. How was your day off without us? Mm. So happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, in a certain way, I had a free time, but I really like to, to work. I'm not Did a, you have I, a, lot, a lot of work? No, not really. So I have this time, the chance to relax a little bit. But yeah, I'm happy to be back and I'm happy to see you all. No. We stressful you again. <laughs> no, no way. No, no <laughs> way. It's not a stressful situation for me. It's a nice, a nice experience. Oh, I have win the 10. Uh -huh. It is Rene. Yes. Hi, Rene. Hi, Tisha. How's it? Nice to see you again. It's so nice to see you again. Same, the same to you. Hey, Mr. René Salayandia. Yeah, I need to change the, the name because my CPU, the, the last uh, breakdown, I need to about another one. Okay, good, <laughs> good. Okay, okay. Nice. I changed it for you. Don't worry. No, okay, thank you. You're very welcome, Rene. Hi, George. How's everything? Are you driving? No, I'm, I'm at home. You're home? Hello. Okay. How are you? Fine. Everything is fine. How's everything over Good. there? How's the diet everything going? Good. Javier. Hi, Javier. What's your your last name, Javier? Hi. Hey. Hi. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, my last name is Mineros. Okay. I will ask you, please, to write your complete name and... Um, Oh, I'm, I will do it today, but if you can do it from now on, Javier, I will really appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Jorge Fuentes, how's everything? Sure. Hi, Juan. It's a pleasure. <clears throat> it's a pleasure. Hi, teacher. It's me again. <laughs> Herson, how's everything, Herson? Everything is good, teacher. And you? Oh, here we are again, huh? Yeah. Yeah, here we are ready to rock, Herson. Okay, excellent. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. 
מתנפיל. אני... בני. היי. And the doctor uh, will be with us in this level? I think so. Why? Because it's necessary to see again, Max. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Max is intermediate now. Yes. <laughs> now you are intermediate people. Wow. Yes, I know. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, I have on it. Pretty, I don't know what that person is. Mm, who is X Ferry? Hi, who is X Ferry? Is the nickname teacher? <laughs> it's a nickname, uh, X Ferry. Hi, X Ferry. Who is X Ferry? We don't know. We don't know. It's a secret. It's a secret agent. Hello, hello. Hi, Gio Escobar. How's everything? Hi, teacher. All fine. Thanks. Good, good. Hi, Douglas. Hi, teacher. Hello, Douglas. Good evening. There you go, Douglas. Mm -hmm. Hi, X30. Who are you? What's your name? We want to know your name. Hi. Sorry, teacher, sorry. It's me, Carlos Valiente. Carlos, okay. I don't, I don't know why I appear like x -Seri. Now you are Carlos Valiente. Now we know you, Charlie. Don't worry. Okay. I fix it. Okay, thanks, teacher. <laughs> You're welcome, Charlie. Good evening, Doc. Welcome back, Lupita.
Good evening, teacher. I have a problem with my, my camera. Ah, no! It's not <laughs> possible. We want to see Max. We can't see Max. Exactly. Oh, no. I try. I try. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Poca. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Hi, hi. Okay, we're going to start our class. I will ask you to turn on your camera, please. I know that I have many new students here with me, at least with me. I know that you are not new in the program with the classes, but you are here new in this group. So I will ask you to turn on your cameras, please, so I can see you. If I see you in Metro Centro and I will tell you, uh -huh, do you remember me? It's not fair, you will know me, but I will not know you. Thank you very much, thanks a lot. Oh, I have many new students here. No oh. Okay. Okay, Lupita, I understand it. You always use your camera. I know. I know. I understand it. Hopefully, you can fix it for tomorrow, by tomorrow, so we can have it. Hi. So, welcome to classes, everyone. And we're going to introduce ourselves first so we can know each other. That's really important. We can uh, learn a little bit about each other. So my name is Vanessa Escobar and I will be with you for a month and something more than a month. We will be together in this English program. And let me tell you that you are not basic students anymore. You are an intermediate student. It means that you have more responsibility and it means that you have to speak more and your participation here is vital. So I will ask the first person I see and I have on my screen is Juan Cordova. Okay, Juan, what can you tell us about you? Hello, hello. Uh, well, this is my first class. Um, I don't know, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, yeah, I just took you out of your comfort Where do you live? How old are you? Where do you live? <laughs> for, example, <laughs> for example. For example, yes. Well, uh, I live in, uh, actually, um, I live in Marriott, but um, sometimes I work to, I, I travel to Sonsonate because they live my parents. And, and I work in, in quality control in Ironman. I'm I am 35 years old, and I don't know. That's <laughs> what enough. would you like to know about me? Ah, that's enough. That's enough. Okay. So you live in Melo. That's right. Yeah, because like we cannot ask you. 
what's your salary? <laughs> that information no. I know. I know that you no. cannot provide it. No, so don't worry. That was okay, Juan. Okay. It's the pleasure, okay. Juan. It's a pleasure to have you here. So Thank you are you. from Sonsonate. Yes, I'm from Sonsonate. <gasps> oh my gosh. That city is very hot, but it's beautiful. Yes, it's very hot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You live in Sonsonate, Sonsonate. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, that's pretty nice. Good. Nice to meet you, Thank Juan. You. And welcome. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Okay. And then I have Jose Mendoza. Hello, uh, hello everybody. My name is Jose Mendoza. I live in Planet de Renderos. I work at Aeroman. I am uh, 40 years old. I am married and I am feel happy to be a star there. And only that. Oh my God, Jose, you are 40 years old. Yeah. No way. You look younger. Yeah, you yeah look I know. <laughs> you look younger. What do you do? Is that a Dorian Gray phenomenon or something <laughs> like that? Oh my God. Okay, okay. Planos de Renderos. It's yeah. Very, it's, very, it's very cool there, huh? Yeah, I live near uh, Parque Balboa. Lucky like you, mister. Is it hot? Sorry? Is it hot? No, no, no. It's fresh. Oh, oh yeah, I want to. <laughs> I want to leave there right now where I live is really hot. So yeah, lucky you. Okay, Jose, it's a pleasure to see you here. Then I have Edgar Argueta. Welcome, Edgar. Uh, good night, teacher, and good night, classmate. Uh, my name is Edgar Argueta, and I am 21 years old. I live in Oloquilta. And I am a auxiliary technician of composite shop. And my favorite hobby is play with my play soccer and with me with with my friends. And only that. Okay, Edgar, typico Carmencita, do you know it? <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> we can make business here. We can make business here, Edgar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, Edgar, you're very young. Yes, 21. 21 years old, huh? You're very young, Edgar. Okay. Yes. Nice, nice to meet you. It's nice to have you here as well. Uh -huh. yeah. so welcome. Then I have Hector Aviles. Uh, hello, teacher. Uh, hello, classmate. Uh, my name is Hector Aviles. I have a uh, 35 years old. I live in San Salvador. I work in Ironman Science eight years. Only that. Okay, Hector, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. He lives in San Salvador. He is 30, you told me that you are 34 years old or 35? Uh, 34. 34, okay. Okay, Hector, welcome. <laughs> welcome to the jungle, Hector. Ah, Mr. Celayandia, please. Good evening, everyone. I'm uh, glad to be here again because that's important for us to learn the English. That's important language for the for learned for well, for our work and the, for all for for us. And I'm I'm technician. I'm a spark technician in Ironman. I'm twelve years old working there. Um, I'm twenty one. No, no, forty one years old. <laughs> for one year so, <laughs> oh my I, I remember I rest my age they said it's like kidding I'm living here in Soyapango city and uh yeah, it's, it's happy because again uh learned this for all the classmates 
I, I see a new classmate in this class. For example, Jose Mendoza, Ega Argueta, and another one. That is the, now this is so glad because it's, I am in the intermediate module. This is good. If from here, uh, the teacher say it's important because need practice more, need to speak more, and that's the best way to learn this language. Okay, thank you. Oh, you're very welcome, Rene. You're very welcome. Thank you. Wilson Navarrete, 21 years old, and I was, oh my God, <laughs> what <laughs> happened? He lost years on vacation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the, the break. Yeah, the break. The break time is, is yeah, for, it good for good us. Good for you, huh? <laughs> It took away from you 20 years old, huh? <laughs> Good. Okay, Wilson, please. Hello, everybody. My name is Wilson Navarrete. I'm 21 years old. Uh, I live in San Salvador. Uh, I'm excited today because it's my first class online. And my goals are I'm going to learn English and I'm going to pass to advance. Nice to meet you, everybody. Oh, nice to meet you, Wilson. So you want nice to be in advance you. already, huh? Hmm. <laughs> you have to go through intermediate first, but I'm sure that you'll do a great job. So welcome, Wilson. David Villacorta. Hi, teacher. Hello. And my name is David, and I live in San Juan and Alco in Paz, and I am a auxiliary of connection and interiors. And I have 22 years old and I'm so, so excited to, to start my first in online. And I hope to improve more and learn a lot of things. Hopefully you will do. You learn lots of things here and you will practice a lot as well. Welcome, David. Mr. Villeda. Hi, George, are you there? George Villeda? No, probably he's not. Okay, Angel. Yes, I'm here, but oh. I have some problems. Okay, okay. Okay. Hi, Angel. Hello, hello. Uh, good night. My name is and Angel Molina, I am operational supervisor. I am 31 years old and I live in San Salvador. Uh, for me, it's a pleasure. Stay here again and see you. We're happy Thank to you. see you again as well, Angel. To see, well, to see your picture again, Angel. <laughs> We're happy <laughs> to see your picture again, Angel. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, it's no, my, we can my, see you. Yes. Okay, Angel. Take a picture for the model. Ah, uh -huh, yeah. Oh, yes. it's a good idea. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Angel. Thank you very much. Mr. Javier Minero. Hi, teacher. Hi. Well, my name is Javier. I am 24 years old. I live in San Salvador, and I work at Aramant. Too. And I would like to learn more English and learn different verbs and practice with different people. That's it, teacher. Ah, oh, you will learn lots of things here. We have interesting people here, and we always talk about the very interesting topics. So you learn okay. a lot. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Javi. Karen. Hi. Hi. Hi, baby. <laughs> it sounds like a song. Hi. <laughs> no. Hello, everyone. My name is Karen Hidalgo. I am 28 years old. I live in Antiguo Cuscatlán, but I am from Chalchuapa. I am administrative assistant for quality control department for two years ago. And I am happy to be with you again. Mm. I'm happy to see your picture again, Karen. <laughs> 
I'm happy to see your picture again as well. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so welcome back. And Thank you, Vani. It's nice to see you again. <laughs> Thank you. Herson. Hello, hello. Good night, everybody. Well, my name is Herson Garcia, and I work in composite shop uh, together with Jose Mendoza and Edgar, our Marco workers. <clears throat> and oh. I'm glad to see all, all the people here, the previously group. <clears throat> and I feel very happy because I think that in this model we uh, learn a lot of a lot of things and different verbs for how uh, for upgrade our <clears throat> our knowledge in English. Yes, that's it. Yes, Harrison, that's right. So you have some partners in crime here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Harrison. So glad to to see the your name again. Yeah, I'm sorry. To, to, to see your name again. Ah, oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is. Okay, good. Thank I'm you. here. I'm Thanks, here. Person. Mr. William Nataren. Hello, teacher. Hello, class. Um, I am. My name is sorry. My name is William Nataren. Uh, I am twenty five years old. Uh, I am um, auxiliary technician. Uh, I live in Oloquilta, and I'm happy to be here again. Yeah, and it's a, I'm so happy to have you here as well, and I'm happy to see your name, William. I don't know why you show me just your name. <laughs> ah, you laugh because you know, uh, William. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Hi, William. Okay, thanks. Okay, nice to see you again, teacher. Okay, Douglas. Hi, Douglas. Hello. <clears throat> Hi, teacher. My name is Douglas. I live in Santa Ana. I work for two out of month for 13 years old. And I know many co workers in this group. Uh, nice to meet you, everyone. Hey, that. hey Douglas, good. So you, have, you know many people here now? Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. So you will feel more comfortable, huh? Good for you, Douglas. <laughs> nice to see your name again. Mr. Carlos Valiente. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. My name, my name is Carlos Valiente. I'm a structure uh, technician at Ironman. I'm 51 years old, and I'm really very happy to be here again. Mm -hmm. And we're happy to see you again, Charlie. Thanks. Welcome back. Feeling well, Charlie? How do you feel? Uh, I'm getting, getting good. <laughs> You're getting better day by day. I'm getting better. Yes, I'm so happy to hear that, Charlie. I'm so Thanks. happy to see you. Welcome back. Oh, Thanks. George is there. Hi, George. Hey, hi, Tish. Hello, Mrs. Escobar. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Oh, I am on her I'm 33 years old. And I am a operation supervisor at the Aeroman. And I'm very happy and excited to be here again <laughs> with you guys. So let's get better in English. <laughs> exactly. Let's get into business and let's get ready to rumble, huh? L like the like the song. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome, George. Welcome back. Happy to see you again. Gio Escobar. Good evening, Paul. 
Uh, my name is Giovanni Alexander Escobar. Uh, I live at Cojutepeque. And I am here, um, well, I am happy to be here in, in the class. And I I hope to, to learn very much about the, the, the English uh, and intermediate and can I grow up and, and get the advantage level? That's it, thank you. Oh, you're very welcome, Gio. It's so nice to see your name again. Thank you. Mr. Poca. Uh, hello, good evening, everyone. My name is Carlos Poca Sangre and I live in San Salvador. And I feel happy to start a new experience with this new model and new classmate. That's it, teacher. Okay, thank you, Mr. Boca, for giving us some hints about you. Thanks a lot. Now we go with Lupita. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Lupita. Good evening, Good evening. Lupita. Hi, my name is Guadalupe. Everyone knows me and knows where to find me. <laughs> uh, it's a pleasure for me to be with you again and continue learning English in this model. Mm -hmm. uh, in this moment, uh, I feel better, better. And I hope uh, learning more uh, different things in this model. In this moment, I have a problem with my computer, uh, with my camera. And I hope tomorrow better go to the computer and, and you can see a max. Yes. For FYI, FYI, yes, yes. for yes, your information, uh, FYI, <laughs> Lupita, uh, ha, uh, there are two students in her house. There is Lupita. And there's and Max. Max. <laughs> Max is always in classes. Tomorrow, hopefully, you will have the chance to meet Max. Max yes. is amazing. He's one of, of the students. He's an intermediate one as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Lupita. Okay, and welcome back. You. Andy. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hi, Andy. Hello everyone. Um, my name is Andrea and I, I am uh, 23 years old and uh, I love the pets and I have a dog and cat and I hope you have a, a great vacation and that's it. <laughs> okay, thank you, Andy. Thank you. Yeah, we were sharing some pics during vacations with Andy. She has beautiful <laughs> pets. That's right. Welcome back, Andy. It's so nice thank to you. see your picture again. So, welcome back, Mr. Leiva. Hello, Mil. Hello, everyone. Okay, uh, my name is David Lipa. I am uh, 50 years old. And I am operation supervisor, supervisor and aeroman. And I live in Rafael Obrajuelo. I have been working for the company for seven years. And I am very happy to learn more with us. Welcome, David. I can see that you changed the picture of your profile. Oh, yes, teacher. <laughs> wow, you yeah, look it's a new, it's a new model, uh, it's a new picture. <laughs> yes, of course. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Change the picture, Karen. <laughs> ah, David Leiva changed the picture too. Yeah, did you I don't it? change my photo. <gasps> you need to update your yes, picture. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a Take it's a, a good selfie. Take a good selfie yes. and then you you just post I will, it. I will. Hey, yeah, Karen. <laughs> That's great. Look, David looks like if he is like those singers, those famous singers, huh? 
the rap singer. Ah, oh, he looked like that. Oh. <laughs> a guitar player. <laughs> looking good, huh? looking cool. Okay, David. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back, David. Giovanni. Thanks, Giovanni, hello. Hi, teacher. Giovanni Alvarado. Yes. yes. Oh, <laughs> Hi, Giovanni. Right. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Uh, I'm Giovanni Alvarado. I work like a quality control at the Herman. Uh, I live at Soyapango. And I'm here for learning English again. Welcome, Giovanni Alvarado. I'm so happy to see your name. So welcome to the jungle. Welcome back. Okay, am I missing someone? No? We what about Sosa? Sosa is taking a shower in this moment. Ah, Mr. Sosa is taking oh, a shower. He has a problem with her car. Ah, oh my God. But he will be there in a minute. <laughs> yeah, it's we're fun. missing Mr. Sosa. Ah, Mr. Sosa always makes a day. <laughs> he has, he always has something to say. <laughs> okay, good people. Let me share the presentation for today's class. Uh, can you see what I'm sharing? Yes, I can see. Yes. Very good. Very good. Okay, so principiante disappear people. Now we are intermediate. This is National English for Work program. Really? <laughs> and then, as you know, my name is Vanessa Escobar. So welcome back. Yes, welcome back, everyone. Welcome to classes. So happy to see you back. So welcome back. I would like to know how were your vacations? What did you do? Did you practice English? How were your vacations? What can you tell me about your vacation? I, I am work. I work all, all, all days on vacation. I enjoy my vacation working. You enjoyed <laughs> your vacation. We didn't working. have vacation, teacher. Ah, yeah, I know because we had a vacation. I know Iron Man has a very a very interesting system of vacations, huh? Learning <laughs> have... English all the time. Oh, really? Annual, annual vacation. <laughs> oh my God! Did you listen to that? Someone here was learning English the whole time, huh? Yes, that was good. And what did you do besides working? Didn't you have at least one day off? You had. You work like a normal week. You didn't have a, a one day off. No days off. Two days off. Two days off. What did you do, Lupita? Only the normal day off for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am on vacation in this moment. <gasps> Listen to that, people. You can be green of envy. Only one week. Only one week. <laughs> Just one week. Yes. Uh, take advantage of that week, Lupita. Take advantage of it. Rest and have fun because you need it. You need that time. What about the rest? Did you do something interesting besides working? Sleeping is interesting too, huh? <laughs> I had a vacation. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, since since all of you didn't have vacations, you I had, had to work. <laughs> you had a normal routine, huh? so you didn't have vacations. Yes. Okay, yes. but what about English? Did you practice English? A little bit. <laughs> oh, what did you do to practice English? Uh, I I watched the the Ben Hur movies, <laughs> the the original for Charlton Heston. Oh, you that's a good one. Yes, that is a good. classic. That is a classic. Yeah, the classics for me is better than the new one. Uh huh. I'm sure it is. I I like the the old one. I haven't seen the new one. I'm sure the old one is better. Okay. Good. 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 What about the other? Did you practice your English? No, 
teacher, we have vacations. <laughs> no teacher, these days. At least, at least <laughs> of classes, huh? At least of classes, you have vacations from your classes. No teacher. No, no, you didn't practice? Oh. Anyway, it happens and I understand it. Don't worry. <laughs> and we're gonna practice. We're gonna practice this coming week. Okay, today's agenda. This is today's agenda. Juan Cordova, please, can you read the agenda? Okay. Welcome evaluation presentation objectives. A comparative objectives, a practice, superlative objectives. Practice, exactly. Thank you, Juan. So we have comparative adjectives and superlative adjectives. Before we get into business with the topic, I want to show you the evaluation. This is what we will do during the whole module. This will be the evaluations and the homework assignment for this module. Evaluations and homework assignments for this module. Um, Edgar, could you read them, please? Yes, teacher. Evaluation and homework assignment. Okay. We will have two oral presentations. We will have two exams. And we have we have two congrats to I can I can see it. Oh, the last part. We have to assignment one per week. One per week, that's right. Okay, one ha someone has the microphone on. I cannot see it because I'm sharing. Okay. Okay, good. Thank you. So this is the evaluation. We will have two oral presentations, two exams, the midterm and the final exam, and two homework assignments. That's what we will do. I want, uh, I really want to emphasize that we really need to, to pay attention. To, we need to pay attention to that. Why? Mm, this last module, I had some issues uh, to get the grade because sometimes you didn't send me the homework. Probably you had a busy week and you, I know that you have lots of things to do. I'm sure of it. But remember that this is also your responsibility and you have to present your homework assignments. You have to complete them. The presentations, the homework assignments. Last module was a little bit complicated with some of you, not all of you. Most of you are really responsible. Yes, and you know that you have to send me something and you send it. But with some others was like um, difficult. So if we can work on that, if we can, I don't know if you have any question about the evaluation. If there's any question, you can ask me now. Some of the evaluation we have to send it. We send it to you at, by email. Yes, in this case, the homework assignments will be two, like two forums. There will be two forums in which you have to give your opinion in the forum. And also probably one will be one forum okay. and the other one will be an extra practice. That will be your homework assignment. And they will be in a schoology. Homework assignments are in the schoology. Oral presentations are here in the class. I give you a topic and you present it to the class. Since you okay. are intermediate students, most of the time you will be the ones who will speak the most. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Mm 
No, teacher. No? Okay. No. Thank you, Carlos. Okay, remember, this is something that you don't have to forget and you have to remember about the homework and the presentations as well. René, can you read them, please? Okay, you have to present all homework assignments in case you have any problem with an assignment. Let the teacher know about it so she can help you. Class participation is important. Intermediate students speak a lot, cameras on during the class, no Spanish allowed. Thank you. So please take all of them in, into consideration. Present all homework assignments. If you have a problem with a homework assignment, you let me know. Teacher, listen, I'm having some issues. I couldn't work in the presentation. Mm, it's like if you are asked to do something at Iron Man and your boss says, hey, listen, Vanessa, I want you to do this. And you say, ah, you never do it. And then your boss says, what happened? Did you do it? Mm, ah, no, I didn't do it. It's your job. It's the same here. Your responsibility is to do the thing. Why? Because Insafor is asking me for homework and he, they say, okay, can you show me the grades of Vanessa Escobar? Can you show me? And I say, I don't have the grades. Why? It, because she didn't send any homework. Uh-huh. Did you tell her? Did you tell him or her? Remember, it's your grade. If you do not work hard, then you cannot advance to the next module. We need to advance to the next module. And you will do it if you present your homework, if you do your oral presentations, then you will do it. I'm here to help you. I am not here to, to make the things worse. I'm here to help you. Participation in the class, try to participate. And you have to speak most of the time. Please, cameras on during the class. Cameras on, unless you're driving. If you are driving, I totally understand. If your cameras are off it's because you are driving, I totally understand it. You cannot be with your camera on and driving. Or if you are at work, because I know that sometimes you have um, night shifts, so you have to be there working. And I totally understand that you cannot turn on your camera. But if you are not having issues with your computer, like, oh, teacher, my computer is not working. Don't worry, don't worry, I understand. But try to keep your cameras on and no Spanish allowed, people. I don't know if you have any comment about this. It's clear, like, or chat. Clear, crystal clear. <laughs> or, or chat a clear. Yeah, or chat a clear. Okay, <laughs> or chat a clear, very good. Questions, someone else? No. No questions? Okay, remember, if you don't send me a homework assignment, I will take it like you don't send it, then you have zero. <laughs> yes, be responsible and send me your homework. Okay, people, let's continue. Now let's get into business. This is today's objective. Today's objective. Head some, please. Read it. At the end of this unit, participants will be able to identify the rule to use the com comparative and superlative forms of objectives. Okay, good. Um, do you remember the comparative and the superlative form of adjectives, Herson? Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. Can you give me uh, some examples? For example, bigger, uh, <clears throat> Bigger, tall, tallest is comparative. Okay, which is the uh, comparative? Tall, tallest. Tallest is the comparative. Ah. No, no, no. This is superlative. Aha, uh -huh, uh -huh. continue. Uh -huh. Then? Com comparative is, for example, bigger. 
For example, the Rio Lempa is bigger than another another river uh -huh. of El Salvador. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to check today the comparative and the superlative form of adjectives. We're going to go through that. And Com -com comparative is when you compare two or more things. And mm -hmm. superlative is when you talk about one thing over the old things. Exactly. We're talking about superiority, huh? Yeah. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Herson. So we will go over that. Probably, you know, you remember a little bit about it in general, the group. But today we will see it to talk about things and compare services and prices. We will learn how to do that. Before we go through that, I want to show you the following video. Let me know if you see it. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. This is a game. In this game, I will show you two different things. And you will tell me which is bigger and so forth. Okay, which is faster, Andy? More cycle. It depends. Yeah. <laughs> it depends on what? The play, the cheat is very fast. The, the cheetah is fast? Yeah. Cheetah is fast, but, but which one do you think is faster? The motorcycle. Motorcycle, motorbike. Is faster. Motorbike. motorbike is faster. faster. Than faster. Than okay. okay, let's see if you're right. Very good. The complete sentence is a motorbike is faster than Shira. Shira. Okay, which is for this one? It's for giraffe. 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 Giraffe is taller elephant. than elephant. Taller. Okay. The giraffe giraffe. Is, taller. is taller than elephant. Exactly, let's see. Coffee, coffee. Okay. Which is bigger? Uh, Russia. Russia is Russia. bigger than America. Russia is bigger than America. America. Mm -hmm. In America. Extra point for everyone. <laughs>
Yes, an extra point for everyone. That's true. I think it's Toro. 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 Depends. <laughs> depends. It depends. <laughs> or what? If it is in the morning or in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what the, what's the difference between a tortoise and a turtle? Yes. No. What is? The difference <laughs> is that the, the turtle is the one in the water and the tortoise is the one that is on land okay mm -hmm. um, so a turtle is the, the sea turtle the turtles that are in the ocean in rivers those are turtles and the, the ones that are on the land on earth the ones that you have in your house as a pet they yeah. are turtles a teacher teacher Tell me. Can you repeat the example of a snail, please? Oh, sure. Five dollars. Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> Five dollars extra. Extra. No, no problem. No. No thanks. Next. <laughs> uh, a snail. A snail is slower than a tortoise. Thank you, teacher. Thank you're you. Ve you're very welcome, mister. <laughs> then we have a kangaroo and ostrich. Kangaroo and ostrich. Those are the two animals. Kangaroo, ostrich. Which is shorter? Kangaroo. 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 Uh, kangaroo, 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 kangaro
play basketball here? Uh, soccer, soccer, soccer ball, ball. ball is, is smaller, smaller than, than a basketball. Than basketball. Than a basketball. Okay, let's see if it is. Oh my God, very good. <laughs> What is the meaning of quick? Uh, fast. 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 A lie is quicker than sound. A lie yeah. is quicker than sound. Ah, like sound. And sound. Like that. Oh, and sound. Hotter than this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's harder than this one. do you think a jet is you that you know about airplanes how much do you think an, a jet is how much money do you have to pay for a jet <clears throat> several millions <laughs> well, yeah several millions of dollars huh yeah what a jet oh. okay okay Thank you guys. So you see that we have some rules to create the comparative form of adjectives. We have many rules to create the comparative form of adjectives. What are some of the rules that we have to create the comparative? Let's read it <clears throat> pretty fast. Some of the rules that we have. Okay, comparative form of adjective. Then we have the first rule. Lupita, can you read it, please? Yes. Long. One syllable adjectives are air at the end of the adjective. Example, the Amazon yes. River yeah. is longer no than the Mississippi River. Okay. I see it. Thank you, Lupita. So we have <laughs> one syllable. Adjectives. One can you put turn off the old microphone? Let me see. Huh? <laughs> There's someone with a microphone on. I don't know who this is. Okay. Okay. So can you give me some another example like this one, Karen? It says that one syllable adjective. One syllable adjectives, you just add ER, 
to make it into the comparative. And I say, the Amazon River is longer than the Mississippi River. Now, can you give me an adjective that is one syllable? Okay. Mm, the lake, uh, we have, is longer than, I don't know if you know the Laguna Cucachapa. Uh, yes, I know, it's in San Chapa. Yes. Uh -huh. So in that case, we're not talking about long, but we're talking about big. Oh my God, about big. Uh-huh, big, because they are not long, they are big. Big is like okay. the Mississippi uh -huh, and mm. the Amazon. So that is yes. an example. So we say, Weha is... It's more bigger. It's bigger. Oh, yes, it's bigger than... Uh, than Laguna Cuscachapa. Exactly. Big is one syllable adjective. One syllable adjective, you just add ER. This has an special thing which we double the last consonant, but that's an example. There are some other examples here. Jose Mendoza, can you read them? Of course, teacher. Uh, short, shorter, cold, colder, smart, smarter, old, Older, tall, taller, young, younger. Thank you very much, mister. So there we have some other examples. Uh, Javier Mineros, give me one sentence with cold. Comparing, comparing a sentence with cold. With cold. Okay. Um, the ice cream is colder than a uh, soda. Yes, it is, mister. Good job. Juan Cordoba, one with old. My, my father is older than me. <laughs> yes, he is. An obvious example. Huh? And the next one is with young. With young, Mr. Leiva. Um, example, okay. Yeah, an example, please. My son is more younger than me. Ah, interesting. More younger or just younger? Younger. Uh -huh, Aha, yes, just younger. You don't need more here. You just need younger. Okay. Mm -hmm, that's right, because they are one syllable adjective. Okay, the next is the the next rule is the following and i'm going to ask please mr valiente can you read this rule carlos valiente can you hear me are you there No? Okay. I'm going to ask you, Mr. David Villacorta. Cute. If an adjective has one syllable uh, in the end, in E, uh, just add er. Uh, example, the baby cola is cuter than the baby turtle. Thank you, David. Can you give me another example of an adjective like this one? An adjective that ends in E? Anyone? An adjective example, with E? example, the baby Max is cuter than us. <laughs> yes, than us, it's true. <laughs> but an, another adjective like cute, similar to cute, that ends in E. Ugly. Which one? Large. Ugly. Large, that's right. Large is an example. And we say larger. There are some other examples here. Look. These are some other examples. And I will ask, please. Hi, Mr. Sosa. Welcome. Are you there, Mr. Sosa? He's sleeping. 
He's sleeping right now. Oh. Silence, Mr. Sosa is sleeping. But Sosa needs to introduce with us. Uh huh. Yeah, we're giving some chance. Giovanni Alvarado, please. No, Mr. Poca. Yes, teacher. I hear. Okay. Okay. Problem with the though. microphone. <laughs> well, uh, the I don't know with with which. Oh, can you what? read this? Can you read this example? It's safe. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, the. Airplanes are safer than helicopters. Uh -huh, that's a good example. Very good. Airplanes are safer than helicopters. Oh, than helicopters. Good. Good. Okay. Gio Escobar, rude. The The teacher is ruder than the the boy. Oh, the teacher is ruder. Okay. I understand. I understand the the message. <laughs> I understand the message. Thank you. Okay, next rule. <laughs> Douglas. Okay, Mr. Douglas, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, read it, please. Okay. Adjective than in, in Y. Preceded by uh, eliminate Y in all I E R at the end. The baby is happier than the than the woman. That's right. Thank you, Douglas. So we have Adjectives that end in Y, eliminate the Y and add I-E-R, I-E-R. Can you give me an example of an adjective like happy? Not happy, a different adjective, William. Cry. Cry is a verb. Pretty. <laughs> Pretty. Yes, that's right. That's right. And we have some other examples here. Check. These are some other examples that we have. Angel, can you read the example, please? Hello. Hi. The basin. Uh, oh, read the example. Oh, uh, dirty. Read the example. Ah, all, all the picture. Yes. Okay, basin is basier. Dirty, dirtier. Cosy, cosier. Pretty, prettier. Lazy. Lisa. Lazier. That's right. Thank you, Angel. The first one is busy, busier. Busy, busier. Can you give me an example with busy, Jorge Villeda? Uh, you are busier than me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, but yes, that's an example. That's right. <laughs> one with pretty. One example with a pretty, Edgar. Pretty woman. <laughs> but you have to give me the sentence, the complete sentence. My jacket is prettier than my sister. Oh my God. What? Really? <laughs> so bad. For what? For what? Oh my God. Oh, Sosa. Thing. Welcome, Sosa. The, 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 the Sosa car is pretty than my car. Ah, oh, listen to that. 
Good example, Edgar. That's right. That's an example. It's grammatically correct. Very good. Then we have lazy. 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 Mr. Sosa, an example with lazy. <laughs> Mr. Sosa disappears when I ask him something. My neighbor is very lazy. Okay, that is one <laughs> sentence. Now, you have to compare. Compare. Uh, mm -hmm. So you have compared like. My neighbor is very lazy with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can say, my neighbor is lazier than me. Yes, that? that's right. <laughs> my neighbor is lazier <laughs> than me. That's an example. Okay. What's me, cozy teacher? Huh? Cozy. What's me, cozy? Oh, okay. Cute. Does anybody cozy. know what cozy cute. means? You. Mm -hmm. It's similar it's, uh, to giving a feeling of yeah. comfort, warm, oh, and yes, relax. comfort. Something comfort. that is comfort. For example, if you have a small house, but you have you feel happy in your house, and your bed is cozy that you sleep so well in it so cozy something pleasant and comfortable my house is cozy but my clinic <laughs> <laughs> of course your house is cozy absolutely and... doctor um, it's very it's very 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 important. it's cozier your so your house is cozier than your clinic and especially because you don't have max in the clinic Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. The next rule is this one. This is the rule. Jose Mendoza, please read it. Okay. Ho, one syllable adjective than and and consonant. Double the last consonant and add the air. For example, the sun is hotter than fire. Thank you. So. Oh, by the way, do you know that we have two meanings of hot in English? No. What? There mm, are two meanings maybe, of hot in English. Maybe yeah. hot, the, the, the calor, the temperatura. The temperature. And hot, hot, the picante. Yes. I don't know. Yes, that's, the, that's similar. But there's another meaning. Uh -huh. Good, Karen. There's another meaning for hot. The people. For people. To describe, to describe people. Hotter. To describe <laughs> people. Like, for example, for some that, men, that some men say that Jennifer Lopez is hot <laughs> because she's sexy and beautiful. Oh, and so, oh, okay. oh, Jennifer Lopez is hot. Some woman said, no, wait, wait. Uh, uh, Chris Evans is hot. Yeah, for some yes. people, for some people. So hot refers to the, the um, to describe people. We use yeah. it to describe people as well. So we can say that someone is hot. Yes, but it's not beautiful. When you are talking about someone hot, it's not because it's beautiful. Because beautiful is Evan is beautiful and hot. Yes, he's <laughs> both. <laughs> He's both. He's both. Yes, both. Yes, okay. You are right. He's yes, both. Uh, like, like uh, Robert Downey yes, Jr. <laughs> Listen, I'm according with you. Yes, thank you. Women, <laughs> women, we have the vote to decide. Okay, what about some other adjectives like hot? Like they are one syllable and they uh, are ending a consonant, you double the last consonant. Can you think of some other example? <clears throat> hot, slow, opposite of hot, cold, hot, slow, uh -huh. hot, cold. We have no, because cold in that case, before the last consonant, you don't have a vowel, you have a consonant. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So the rule Nick. applies okay. like this one. Look. Nick. Fat, fat. Nick. Fat. Fat. 
So the rule says that when you have a consonant that ends in a, uh, when you have an, an adjective that ends in a consonant, and before the consonant, you have a vowel, you double the last consonant. Okay. Oh, okay. Sad, sadder, thin, thinner, big, bigger, fat, fatter. Fatter. Mm -hmm. That's the rule. Next rule. And this one. This is the next rule. Lupita, read it, please. Beautiful. Adjectives with more than two syllables add more before the adjective to compare. A rainbow is more beautiful than the rain. That's right. That's right. So we have an adjective with more than two syllables. For example, yeah. hot. How many syllables do you have in hot? One syllable. Uh -huh. <laughs> One syllable. Yes. But in beautiful, how many syllables do you have in beautiful? Three syllables. Three syllables. Beautiful. 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 Three syllables. Wilson. Can you read this slide, please? Beautiful, more beautiful. Uh -huh. Dangerous, more dangerous. Interesting, more interesting. Difficult, more difficult. Thank you very much, Lupita. So when you have an adjective that has more than one syllable, you say more. That's why we cannot say, oh, more bigger. Never. We can uh, never say more bigger. We can never say, oh. More sir. <laughs> uh -huh. More prettier. More, more prettier. prettier. No. More busy. More busier. Impossible. We cannot say that. Remember, they have to, they need to have more than two syllables to say more. And we cannot say more beautifuler. Never. More beautifuler. No. <laughs> more beautiful. <laughs> Exactly. Dangerous, sir. Dangerous, sir. Oh, more interesting, girl. No. <laughs> oh, this is this is more difficult, sir. English is more difficult, sir. No, more difficult. More. So there are also irregular adjectives in English. Yeah, the exceptions. Mm -hmm, the exceptions. Remember the that there's no rule without exceptions. There are always exceptions. Hector, read the exceptions, please. Okay, uh, irregular adjectives. Good is better. Bad or worse. Far, far. That's right. So we never say, look at that. Is gooder. Mm -mm. <laughs> gooder never. I, he's better than no. <laughs> worse. Very bad. Exactly, but they're never good. Very good. It's uh, very, very far. <laughs> yeah, no, but you can say very good because in that case, you are not talking, you are not comparing. Yes. You are not comparing. You can say, oh, listen, my job is very good. You are not comparing your job with anything else. You are talking about your job. But if you're comparing your job, to someone else's job, you say, now listen, my job is better than your job. Wow. It's different. Ah, <clears throat> oh, no. People say, no, they say, mm, this president, and they use worse or better. They can use whatever they want to compare it with someone else. Teachers, only there are these more or there are more? There are more exceptions, but these are the most common. Okay. These are the most common. There are some other exceptions, but these are the most common. Okay, now it's your turn to, to apply the rules. Provide sentences comparing the following. Aha, uh -huh. and I will ask Mr. Villeda, which countries are these? Uh, Ecuador and El Salvador. Mm. Yes, no, Ecuador. 
Colombia. Venezuela. Colombia. Venezuela. Venezuela. Valeo madres. Don't worry, George. This is not a geography exam. This is not a geography You need to study geography. English. Change the topic. <laughs> okay, let's compare the size. Colombia and Nicaragua. <laughs> let's compare. El Salvador is smaller than Venezuela. Aha, uh -huh, let's exactly. El Salvador is smaller than Venezuela. Venezuela. That's right. What about this one? Danny uh, DeVito is shorter. Is short. Shorter. Shorter, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Danny DeVito. Dan. No, Dan. Dan Arnold. Dan Arnold. Yes. Ah, Dan Arnold. <laughs> yes, because the other name, the other name is very complicated. Very good. And we can say the opposite. Arnold, Arnold is. Arnold is taller. Exactly. Very good. Next. A shiraya is faster, faster than tortoise. Than tortoise. Than tortoise. tortoise. Yes, that's right. Tortoise. 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 And a tortoise? Tortoise is slower, is slower, slower is than a shiraya. Than a shiraya. Than a shiraya. Yeah, very good. <laughs> the pig is. The pig is dirty. Dirtier. That's right. Dirtier. 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 The pig is dirtier than goose. Danny, can you repeat? Sorry? Can you repeat? Dirtier. 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 Because the word is dirty. Dirty. I change, I change my for ear. Dirtier than a duck. Than duck. Than the duck. Yes. And clean. The duck is clean. Than the pig. Than the pig. Very good. That's a goose. <laughs> that is yes. It is a goose. Successfully. What? Eddie Murphy is funny. Eddie Murphy. Dan, a saber quién es. 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 Is what? It's serious. More serious. That's right. Very good, people. Is more serious. Oh, yes. More serious. serious than any more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Rolex. Rolex is are very more expensive. expensive. Than a more expensive. More expensive. Mm -hmm. More than expensive. Than the G Shock is cheaper. Casio. 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 It's all in San Salvador City. Yes. It's cheaper, huh? Cheaper. Than a Rolex. The motorbike is dangerous. It's more dangerous. More bike, it's more dangerous. It's more dangerous than a pickup. Than pickup. Mm -hmm. than a pickup. The pickup is safer it's than safe. a motor a motor motorbike. Motor bike. Motor bike. That's right. That's right. Very good, people. You understand the rule? Yeah, you rock. Okay, if you hear your name, say hey, hello. 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 Okay. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Edgar Argueta. Hi, Edgar, are you there? Yes, I okay. learned. 
Héctor eh, Avilés. Hello, teacher. Juan Córdoba. Hello, teacher. Jorge Puente. Hello, teacher. Gerson García. Hello, teacher. Karen Hidalgo. Hi, teacher. David Leiva. Hi, teacher. José Mendoza. Hi, teacher. Javier Mineros. Hi, teacher. Wilson Navarrete. Hi, teacher. Lupita. Hi, teacher. Saúl. Oh, Saúl is not here. Mr. Pocas. Present. Douglas Rivera. Hello. David Sosa. Oh, Present, teacher. <laughs> Carlos Valiente. Hi, teacher. David Villacorta. I'm here. Jorge Villeda. Hello, hello. René Salayandía. Present. Okay. Now, it's all for today. It was a pleasure to see you. Teacher. And, and, and me. And me, teacher. Andrew. Andrew. And Andrew. Andrew. If I do not mention you, stay here. And the rest of the class can leave. See you. Stay right here class. for the all night. the class. Stay here. Bye, Miss. Bye, bye. The rest of the class. I didn't mention your name. Stay here. William, you are not here, Mr. Nata Nataren. Yes, teacher. Uh -uh. For the next module. Sure. Ah, uh, I'm going to create my profile. Uh, tomorrow. Okay, mister. Do it for tomorrow and you will be here. Okay? Okay. Thank you, teacher. Perfect. And what about the others? Who had problems to, to access to Schoology? Who had problems? We, to we need to create another profile, teacher. You need to create uh, a profile. No, no, no. If you have a profile already, what you have to do is just to insert the code using the previous profile that you have. Oh, okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Angel, didn't just, do it that. just one, just one. <laughs> okay, no problem. Teacher. Okay, perfect. Do you remember that I sent you the code in the, in the, in the document before? So you can access okay. it. And if, what about the will, other? If we do it that, tomorrow we'll going to appear in this. Yes, you have oh, to create. Okay. Now, if you have problems to create, I will show you how to do it right now. If you have problems to access. I have me. problem. Oh, I Angel. can access. Oh, yeah. Angel. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have to create another user. Okay, mm -hmm. I try. Try to create another user with a new, uh, with a new email. And use the code of Schoology as, as soon as you insert the, you create your new user or your new profile, you use the code that I shared to okay. be part of the course. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you don't have problems with Schoology, you can leave. But if you okay. have problems with Schoology, stay here. Okay, good night. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Good, good night, night, everybody. Bye. bye, teacher. Bye bye. Okay, who has problems with the schoology? <laughs> okay. No one? Perfect.